Still haven't made it to the water. We are going to do cast testing videos and other stuff today live. This is the last day of the year. I'm also going to be looking forward to tonight. I'm going to probably get on the computer and do some other best rod and reel, uh, you know, bait casting gear of the year, combos, stuff I recommend, st stuff I have, even stuff I don't have. Just to kind of end of the year deal, I'm going to put some live videos together tonight. So I got this package, just showed up today. So real quick, we're going to open it up. I have not seen these yet. This should be my swim baits. I don't know though. Oh boy, maybe I should look off camera. Okay, that's them. I just saw the tail end of them. Sometimes you never know what you're getting from Alex. For, I'm just telling you guys. Sometimes you never know. Oh, look at these bad boys. Now, if you remember right, you can go back in. I've got several videos out now showing these baits. But I basically went ahead. They were on crazy sale. And I ordered four more colors that I don't have. So now I think that's going to give me six or seven of these things. And they're crazy cheap on AliExpress. Do they work as good as the Mega Bass Mag... Uh, I forget what they even call that. Uh, that they're sort of copied off of. But that is definitely one you can get out there and throw. You'll be able to see it real good, but I think that chartreuse being on top won't show as much. So if you're still wanting a sort of, uh, you know, slight stain or murkiness to the water, but you want to be able to see the bait, that'll work good. But if the water, you actually won't even be able to see this one as good as this one probably, but the fish will see this better. So as the water dirties up, so like if you're in clear water, that's what you want to be throwing. So then the next stage would probably be this guy, or you're in clear water, but early morning, or it's hard to see the bait. I would throw that one probably first, just so I can see that it's swimming right. And then this one, that looks good. It may have too much orange, but if you remember right, I, you can scratch up. These are cheap baits. These aren't like you're tearing up some high dollar bait. You can scratch some of that orange off if you feel that's too much, and you just want a little bit around the gill or something. But I think that color will work, but that would probably be these are kind of a toss-up, uh, but that's the order I would probably put them in if, if, you know, clear, slightly stained, getting a little murkier, getting real, uh, you know, very low light, not like muddy water, but like you just need a good visible bait to stand out. To go with this more fire tiger, which has got a lot of orange on the bottom, bright chartreuse greens. Still going to be hard to see now. I think it was Mike Iconelli that commented, made a deal about actually painting stripes of chartreuse on the top of a lot of his baits just to see him, the ones that are more like a, kind of a wake or these shallower uh, wake baits and different stuff to see him. So this one's already got it, but you could actually do that with, this one's got a little touch on the top, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't with these baits just add a chartreuse if, if it's hard to see it for you. But if you remember right, I do recommend, I'm not saying they won't work with these hooks, but I think the hooks are a little too silver and shiny for me. Like these, I may leave them alone, but honestly, these two, I'm going to probably upgrade to just a, what I feel is a better, uh, better working and less visible hook like I did on my other ones. But these are awesome. I will, uh, at the end of this video, either right now or shortly after I finish this video, I will uh, share the link where I picked these up. They're not going to be as cheap as what I got them for. If you guys know AliExpress, I ordered them a while back. So it's like Christmas. I don't remember exactly. I didn't, I don't remember exactly what I paid and I honestly didn't look and double check to remember exactly what colors I had coming. I just knew I had four of the other colors I didn't have yet. And I like, I do like every one of these colors. Every one of these colors looks good. Every one of these has a clear tail. Uh, I would almost think you could dip that. It's a soft. If you wanted to touch just a touch of chartreuse, like on these, just a touch on the tips of the tails or something. But these are awesome baits. So we got that out of the way. I just want you guys to stay tuned today. If you're watching this video now and it's the, you know, New Year's Eve 2022, uh, get ready. We got a lot of other videos I'm gonna be Putting out, check out those videos. So I got that done. I'm not going to do any testing now that I haven't already done. I did, uh, what I've done today is I came out here. I don't know, you guys want to see more than just an unboxing. So I'll show you what to be looking forward to. I basically brought out, here's all my other uh, rod and reels that I sort of use. That's not all the rod and reels I own, but that's kind of what you'll be seeing in the lineup, in and out of the lineup uh, coming next season more than likely. 
But today I'm going to put together uh, my uh, favorite BFS ones and ones I recommend you guys pick up from AliExpress. And of course the Cast King Zephyr is in that uh, lineup. So I did put it on. It definitely does not go together color-wise, but it works good. Where are you guys going? Hey guys. Say hello. We're going to... <laughs> Whatever. Get out of here. Suckers. Okay. Don't mind them. So what I did was I put this on there just to see what it would throw, kind of reassuring myself of how well, and I'll try to use the hood of her car to show you guys. The little, like if you want to flick baits out, like you guys seen them talk about with these fiberglass rods and different stuff, the Casking Zephyr, five foot six anyway, the shorter one, is an awesome rod for that littler, you know, closer stuff, and you can flick different baits in and out and everything. If you haven't caught on, and I'm in the shade, so you won't be able to see that well. But I have put 10 pound and probably what you guys would think would be too much a line on the gecko pigeon. But it works just fine. So I'm going to jump back in here in the shade, and it is a nice day today. And just show you, you can cast. It's 1.7 gram bait. With this, I thought I was kind of playing with, and I will also tell you guys what uh, rod reel, I guess, combinations of the ones from AliExpress. You guys know the deal, right? With the uh, basically the Dark Wolf Ultra and the Black Knight 2, then there's the Deep and Shallow School variants, the Acura. And then of course the Micro Monster. Now some of you guys are asking me like, oh, well, where's the link? Where's the this? Where's the that? Uh, I've shared the link all over the place, but uh, I'm also going to put out a video today just to explain to you guys how if you want to browse AliExpress or Bass and Bonsai, my YouTube uh, videos, it's I don't need to share the link to every one of them. Sometimes you guys got to do your own uh, sleuthing, right? You got to do your own detective work. It's real simple if you want to find these reels. I like had in the heading of the video, Kingdom Micro Monster, right? So. If you put in Kingdom Micro Monster in AliExpress in the search, just like you would a Google search, it will bring up three or four or five or however many places. And I hate putting the link for sure after I've had a reel a while because there's probably a cheaper store at the, any given time than maybe the one I bought it from or maybe even bought it from before. So, and I'd also suggest you guys do that. Just because you bought it there, don't feel bad about browsing around. And a lot of times different stores are having different sales. So, uh, I would check there if you're, you know, I would not just go to the same store and click another one if you want another one. I would go in there, do the search, and look and just see who's the cheapest at that given time. Now, if you're, once you've had a store that's established, like I do with the LT Fishing Store, I usually check there first and I may pay a few dollars more because I know I don't have any issues. Like I've had with the ZB Fishing Store, I do not recommend them. Same thing with the Solo King. Uh, now, it sometimes you can look up that Develo, but Solo King, uh, Acura, the Acura reel, and that you'll find these reels and, you know, track down the cheapest one. Same thing with the Sierra Nora Dark Wolf Ultra. Type that in. Uh, TSU Dark Wolf Ultra. You'll find that. Uh, Black Knight 2. Same thing. They sell, they sell everything now pretty much on AliExpress, uh, even the JDM stuff. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's not. I will tell you right now, you can go buy, and I'm thinking about buying one, but Charles is supposed to be giving me a price if he wants to sell his Silver Creek. The Silver Creek, I uh, found a store that has it for, I want to say, $314 with, uh, you get $5 every $40 spent. So you click on it, I put it in my cart, and basically it shows that it's right now, I could get it for $397 shipped to me. Uh, the Silver Creek, the Gecko Bidgeon, I think they're, they're more expensive on AliExpress, but uh, check, if you're looking for reels, like you can only get the Salmondura as far as I know off AliExpress, you might be able to find it another place, but like this isn't uh, JDM or uh, US market. But they sell the Salamandura, you can't get, I got this for 165 bucks, you can't get it that cheap now, you can still get it for I think 180, something like that. So $15 more or so, but still an awesome reel. Uh, of course, there's always eBay for used and, and new reels. They sell a bunch of everything there. But when you're looking for JDM, 
Daiwa, Shimano, stuff like that. There's several places, Japan Taco, Digitaka is about the cheapest, but they don't carry a lot of everything. So I'm gonna end this video, get out there, do your own searching. I mean, I'll help you. If you can't find it on your own, don't feel bad, I will. You know, some of that stuff you put it in a search and it just does not bring it up on AliExpress. AliExpress has probably one of the most horrible search engines next to probably YouTube, right? Because I, I punch in uh, chatterbait fishing. You know how long I had to scroll before I found a Bass and Bonsai video? Like forever. That's why we're not growing that good. But we are growing, I started putting out some shorts. And that's actually jumped the subscribers up from averaging 47 of every 28 days to 65 right at the moment anyway. We kind of started getting a law. So making those little shorts you guys have seen me make have actually jumped us up. So if you've just now subscribed to the channel, welcome. If you're a longtime subscriber, we need to get some luck into this bracelet. And you guys know what I'm talking about. My lucky bracelet. Uh, I'm also going to talk about, I went to Rogers Sporting Goods. I got a lot to talk about what I found, didn't find, and what I liked and didn't like like from uh, Rogers Sporting Goods. I did, I actually forced myself. I didn't buy one thing from Rogers. I'm going to probably go back up there next week. That's how I do things. I kind of, you know, like I mentally put it in my cart. Uh, you know, I go to AliExpress. I have, I'll have like $1,500 worth of stuff in my cart. I kind of do that at Rogers. I go up there and mentally the cart in my head, I'm like, oh, the Jordan Lee rods that are under seven foot, the, uh, uh, Falcon HD rods that are only $69. Uh, uh, the mock crush from lose that combo for 199 I'm like ah, do I want to get that and test it for you guys and because yeah, I like that that would be a good combo also I'm probably gonna mention that in another video today but basically I do that up at Roger Sporting Goods I put all that stuff in my cart all of those little Z-Man uh, the new uh, micro finesse basically they've taken a TRD and downsized that whole version of their TRD lineup basically is now even smaller perfect for you know, the you guys, creek and stream fishermen, your trout, your uh, small bass panfish, smaller bodies of water, and for perfect for BFS, right? And I've looked at that for last year now. I'm like, I'm not really there yet because I feel a, just a normal size TRD will catch me a pretty small bass. Like if I, I may put together a whole separate tackle box for BFS stuff, the smaller creeks and streams. I may, you'll see me start fishing. Well, here lately, I haven't been going just BFS fishing. I usually I throw it in here and there, but the last year I kind of went on this crazy chatterbait kick, right? And then started with the jigs. I kind of vary, you'll see me if you've followed the channel very long. But today I'm gonna try to tell you about what I found and didn't find from uh, Rogers, from the new fishing reels, a lot of the rods I tried. They do have the new, uh, the new lose, the TI, the Pro, and the Elite TI reels, those ones like the real test I talked about coming from uh, Doyo that, oh, I can't remember the name of the real fancy silver one, but I'm going to tell you why I actually don't plan on buying any one of those reels. I know, it's spoiler, right? But uh, honestly felt up there the new uh, Xenons from Abu Garcia. I, I'm not going to buy one of those either, but I would probably buy a Xenon before I would buy one of those new lose reels. But I would probably buy a track down a used uh, Steez CT before I would buy any of those reels just because they're all around that same price point but we'll get more into that so hopefully you like this video stay tuned for what's coming today and into the new year uh, yeah Charles yeah Maddie finally made me one she made it out of that metallic colors so it, it definitely looks a little different and it doubled up she doubled it up the only trip it's been on was a crazy cold, cold fishing trip, and we only caught like a fish a piece, and can't really call any good or bad luck in the bananas or not. But the bracelet, I'm wearing it at the end of this year, tonight, in through to the new year, trying to carry some luck around with me, right? And it may be the fact that Maddie put a pink connector on it. Maddie, we may have to switch that out to a different color. You know how these guys are about the pink stuff. Right? We don't want to fish like a girl, or do we? Because half time, I got to struggle to stay ahead of fishing when I go fishing with a girl. Don't you guys? You know what I'm saying? And I will tell you about a reel I'm going to talk more about, but the, I, I hadn't seen one in person until I was up at Rogers. I'm going to just, okay, we're going to spill the beans on a little bit of that when I was up at Rogers. So I basically, me and the, the guy behind the counter is a younger kid. He was geeking out on the stuff too, the reel. So he's basically pulling every reel out that's in their case. And if you don't know about Rogers, uh, 
sporting goods and you're within the Kansas City area and you want to see a lot of different higher end, just more variety of reels, then you can go look at it. Bass Pro Shops, go to Rogers Sporting Goods, which is in my mind is ridiculous. They're a smaller store, but they carry more, a wide variety of the higher end stuff. Bass Pro Shops, they literally have some reels that I don't even consider that high end over in their glass case like that. They're trying to keep somebody from stealing this, what I consider not that great a reel. And the stuff out on there is like basically all the Bass Pro reels covering half or three quarters of the thing. And then some uh, Abu, some Daiwa, and occasionally some Shimano. Like there's not much of, it's crazy. You can't look at anything real good quality at the Bass Pros here anyway, the one in Independence. I haven't been at the one in Kansas in a while, but they're kind of honestly a letdown. They're kind of a letdown. When I first started going to Bass Pro Shops, I would make the trip all the way down to Springfield, right? You quit that crazy cat. Ollie, get out of there. Somebody let the cat out of the house. Ollie, quit it. Hang on, he's gonna end up. I had a video banned from YouTube because I said I was gonna K-I-L-L -L that cat. Of course, you guys seen, he's a full grown adult cat now that's like huge. But what was I talking about? Yeah, the uh, Daiwa Zillion 10. That is actually a cool reel. I didn't realize it looked like it's blue. If you guys have not seen that reel in, purpo on, in person, the sides and on the end is a almost similar to this kind of a bluish, uh, I don't even know what they call that, a rainbow effect. Now there's no, it's not really any purple and not really any gold in it, but there is like a shades of a few different tints of that blue, which is almost close to purple. I think one of these drag stars on it with maybe a gold, uh, not this gold, but a different gold uh, zero adjuster thing. You can get the Gomex ones and uh, this color Gomex uh, drag star. And then maybe actually this spool would fit right in it. And you would have a uh, awesome little, uh, for like uh, BFS type jigs and stuff, the, it's crazy fast and what's funny is I don't know uh, normally if you grab a six to you know six five to one eight one to one or yeah eight to one like you can feel the difference in the thing what's funny about that crazy uh, it's ten to one it feels like as smooth as the six five to ones I was filling up there it's just insane how not high geared of a reel for being a 10 to 1. It just felt real good and it looks good. It basically has a, it's shiny black on the sides, but then where you grab it and are holding on to it is more of a mat so you can get a little more of a grip to it. But in person, that reel is definitely impressive and I've, I, I know where I can get a deal on one basically. So I didn't even have that reel or see that reel coming. That is a possibility, but I tried to Abu Garcia Xenon. He just went and grabbed it. I didn't even ask him about it. He just pulled it out. He was like, have you seen these new ones? And if you guys saw the reel test, do the one on the LTX. Well, the, I think it's the middle one. I don't even think it's the uh, MG LTX, which isn't a BFS one, but it's silver. It was just more of a dark gray. But that reel was crazy small and light and they had big power knobs and it felt like so lopsided because of the big power knobs but i just the minute i held that reel and how smooth it feels and i'm pretty sure it had a drag clicker also and i'm like that is an awesome reel but they're like 400 they're they're crazy priced also but they're coming with i believe the xenons have magnesium frames then with carbon side plates but not a bad reel but I still, out of all those reels, the they they have a 6.5. I'll say it's 6.5. 6.5 to one older style zillion that is just smoother than any reel up there. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna go into the full detail on the trip of Rogers. And I've got some bad news for not for me because I already kind of showed you guys that with the Alderman 22. But bad news if you're a shimano guy and you don't want to you know get ready to get your butts puckered because i got some bad news in my opinion anyway that i found out up at rogers but stay tuned thanks for watching guys get out go bass and bonsai i will be doing some kind of casting stuff and just talking about rods and reels today out here and then at some point when it starts getting dark we're going to go jump inside and jump on the computer and we're probably going to be taking uh if not shots of fireball we're going to be having cinnamon coke 
uh, by taking a shot of Fireball and putting it in every glass of Coke we drink, and let's just see how many video videos we can make before we pass out going into the new year. What do you guys say? Buckle up. It's going to be a good night. Let's go.